Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF VR Help Wanted news video, where we actually have an official release date for FNAF VR Help Wanted. Scott, last night, released a post on Steam on the Ultimate Custom Night Steam page, talking about some development things that have been happening over at Steel Wall to help make the VR experience noise. And then he, at the very end, confirmed the release date for the game. So, let's not waste any time. It's not a long article at all. It's not even worth calling it an article. It's it's like a few sentences. So, let's just let's not waste any time and let's just jump into it. Just like I said, the article, as you can see here, is not long at all. It's only a few sentences. It's literally two paragraphs. Actually, it's basically just one paragraph. I mean, t technically, it's the I'm going to start over. So as you can see here, the article is not long at all. It's literally three paragraphs, two of which could easily just be considered sentences and not paragraphs. But I suck at English, so I don't know. Um... But yeah, it was released April 16th at 8.18pm, at least for me, and it reads, VR Release Date Announcement! Hi everyone, I wanted to make a long overdue announcement about the release date for Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. The game was originally scheduled for release at the end of April, but I've decided to push the release date back to late May. <sighs> The truth is that the game has become much bigger than it was intentionally conceived to be. It's a very good thing, but because of that I want to spend a little extra time with Steel Wool, doing more testing and adding more polish before release, and maybe even throw in a few extra surprises. So I hope all of you will be patient and bear with us, we all want it to be as good as it can be. The game will release on May 21st. There you go. See, I, I said it wasn't long. It, it, it's really not. Though, it doesn't have to be. With an, with a announcement like this, it's actually really, really good to have it be short, where people get your information across clearly, and, you know, there's not much additional text that is needed in the post. We got everything we needed. The release date was scheduled for late April, but they decided that they want to spend more time on the game and push it back to late May, specifically May 31st. I mean, 21st. <laughs> Man, I'm bad at dates, aren't I? But I'm actually super, super excited for the game, and I'm really excited that they're spending more time with it and making it as good as it can be. Because really, I don't care how long I have to wait. As long as it's good, then... I'm going to be happy with it, and uh, I, I hate to say it right now because I don't know officially, but I I, I may be getting a VR headset. Just you, did, you didn't hear that from me, but, you know, I did, did get a new PC. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and along with it, I might maybe pretty soon get a VR headset. But again, did not hear that from me, so I'm just super, super excited. That is a whole nother month. Of development so they could really do anything I'm hoping that we are finally going to see that stage performance Scott has been talking about since five months ago with his last post uh, actually his first ever post about the VR game saying that we would see a live stage performance of Freddy Bonnie Chica and maybe even Foxy that is something I really want to look forward to and hopefully I'm going to be able to get my wish in the final build of the game coming in late May. So I'm sure sometime in early May or sometime in mid-May we will see the Steam page for VR Help Wanted go up. Maybe even with more teasers and maybe a more polished trailer because as some Redditors figured out over on Reddit, surprisingly, the build for Help Wanted that was showcased at PAX East 2019 this year 2019 this year, huh? Wow, what'd you think? Think about that. Uh, PAX East 2019 was actually made in 2018, so yeah, they could have added a lot more stuff from that build in 2018 to what they had then during the PAX East 2019, and then what they have now, and then what they're gonna have at the very end 
of May 21st, where the game will finally be released to the public. <clears throat> but anyways, that's it. Pretty short. Doesn't need to be long. Hopefully you guys are excited for FNAF VR again. Mark your calendars, 21st of May, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.